obviously there is a right time and a right place for re re relaxed grooming standards, okay? If you're a special operator and you're operating in an indigenous country where you're looking to blend in, obviously uh, re relaxed grooming standards may be a requirement, okay? But if you ask me my opinion, and I haven't ever grown a beard because I joined the military when I was 18 and I couldn't grow a beard and I'm 53 years old and I don't even know if I could grow one now. But in some cases, people look at beards like it's a tangible gimmick. Okay, I feel good about myself because I have a beard or because it's part of pop culture having this beard and everything. We are the United States military and as I mentioned before, we have standards and discipline. And we have them in place, one, because we bring in our nation's uh, young men and women and we build them into something that they never thought they could be. But two, they are the ethical standard bearers globally for everything that is right about our country. And when we start looking at ways to relax standards, I think we take away from that. I, I think you need to look internally as a soldier, sailor, airman, marine, and coast guardsman and find that inner self to feel good about yourself. And engage leadership and charismatic leadership can provide that as well a lot more than somebody saying, well, I'm prepared to fight because I have a beard now.